Okay, so Valve released a, a Steam Deck update that has kind of caused a few mm-hmm. issues today or, or last night. Um, chief among them, it messes up the controls for Aperture Desk Job. And more importantly, it, it messes up your controller configuration for desktop mode. And it has some other issues, uh, such as the fact that it's still telling people to install the update after it's already been installed. So, welcome to Steam. It still doesn't happen often, but it happens often enough that it's infuriating. So, um, what you can do is go to your Steam button, go to the power menu, switch to desktop. You're going to need an external mouse to do this. Um, There's probably another way, but I haven't really tested it out yet. I don't know why this is open because I didn't even use this in the past three days. Um, So go to your Steam desktop application. You can do this two ways. You can go into big picture or you can just go into the normal settings menu. It doesn't really matter. They're almost identical. Uh, Go to settings, go to controller, Desktop configuration. So it's going to, if you've not seen this menu, this interface before, it's going to give you a uh, diagram of the Steam Deck and every single button on it. And then you can use all these categories to change everything. So uh, the the two touchpads are at top. Um, I don't know what it's being changed to, like automatically when you apply the update. But uh, if you're needing to change them, you just click on the the things, the squares. In the style of input, change it to whatever you had. I had mouse on mine, and then on click action, you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, Mine, I had them bound, cross-wired like this. And hit back, hit uh, back again, and then do the other one. Same thing, style of input, mouse. And then whatever the hell you want it to be on the binding back. Hit back again, hit done. It's going to close on its own and hit OK. And then the uh, Steam Deck mouse will work again. Or you can do it in big picture mode. Apologies. I, <laughs> I had my sound turned up really high because Elgato was giving me issues. Um, so I was trying to hear audio that didn't exist. So in big picture mode, go to the settings, the gear icon, then go to controller, base configurations, and then desktop configuration, and then you'll get the exact same interface. Click on the touch pads and then change them. Same thing here, just hit done, but then you'll have to exit. Uh, you'll have to hit back a couple times, assuming you want to leave Big picture mode, and then go to the gear. No, I said the gear. Or you can use the back button up on the top left. Uh, Go to the power button and then exit big picture, and then you're back in desktop mode. Then if you're wanting to, you know, obviously if you're wanting to switch, then you can switch back to gaming mode. So that's it. I hope this third or fourth attempt to do this video actually works. Thank you. Goodbye.